Since the first tool arrived, ASML has been busy building the scanner, source and drive laser, completing performance upgrades to ensure the scanner is in tip-top shape when it enters production. Today, all our teams have completed the setup required and we are ready to generate 13.5 nanometer EUV light for the first time at 534. Here are some of the key activities to make that happen. In the utility level, we need the vacuum pumps to create the vacuum environment needed. And these RF cabinets provide our power and control. While in the subfab, these control cabinets give the tool what it needs. We have our 25 kilowatt CO2 laser, which generates laser light fired at 50,000 times per second. It travels up to our beam transport system to our source pit at the back of the tool that you can see at fab level. Finally, we get to the clean room where the main body of the tool can be seen. Here, one nanometer molten tin droplets are fired and struck twice by the laser. The first time, low power turns a tin droplet into a pancake shape, and the second time, a high energy strike creates the EUV plasma to form the 13.5 nanometer light. This is reflected through a series of mirrors to pick up our reticle image and reflect the pattern onto the wafer. So as we can't see the EUV light with the naked eye, we need to use sophisticated software to view the light for us and to check that everything is working as it should. We would like to take a moment to thank our Intel commissioning teams who have been busy qualifying our facility systems and our trades and installation teams who have worked to get the tool connected with water, power and gas and brought into supplier qualification. All this work brings us closer to running wafers in the fab and delivering this exciting technology to our customers. Congratulations everyone, this is a really special occasion.